Okay, first day of uh, urban garden building or making is uh, now done. There is a little 180 centimeters and this is 3 meters. Just uh, digging. Even we are practicing no-till farming this type of soil is have to first open and then it's also easier to add there's something there is basically nothing so we go to now get the goat manure and we mix that also there and and uh, very hard not clay but hard soil and this part was little easier because there is a leaking water what we have to do take care of next week also but uh, this is now and we come back when progress is more I, I try to every day when it's not very hot to do more this and uh, we haven't make any special design now but we just continue here to make a pits and and all the way we will see what what we got okay okay second day of the no-till garden has still it more <laughs> that one is ready to little clean here we have putting already this tiny one is uh, for lettuce so we didn't add so much maybe something 15 kilos we add the compost and uh, here is coming pacho pizza in Filipino language or something similar so there is a little stick have to little clean and then we mix mix there and then it's this bed but it's a little too hot to we try to dig more and more pets here and the design now is because we have this drainage pipe here what has to change fix the new one so we kind of can't cross it because it's in level so we always stop here and the line is going and then we make a pets like this this so it's kind of L L model garden and <coughs> here in middle here is this pathway so we make here a pathway we make a straight straight there And then we have a good access for that really maybe this evening I can take off that truss truss bale there. But here we have this so-called black gold. We have plenty more there. It's so good good looking stuff. We are very happy. Basically, it's not cost anything, but for delivery and the sacks we pay about 400 pesos, something eight eight dollars we get ten sacks. And we can nicely renegate this this land and uh, hopefully get good microbiome and worms to work in there in pets and but I am pretty sure that it's good to grow almost anything and uh, this is uh, after all this is kind of little test garden only and uh, 
probably we just produce here first first season kind of or first batch uh, some kind of uh, what we can sell but later I think we are focusing here more uh, like a seed production we keep our own seed goal is to save all our seed what we using there in bigger farm so this is kind of little small space for that but especially especially have to find good onion varieties what is we have uh, we have our own own onion seeds and then we have uh, some east east europe varieties but we don't know until we have tested that how how it's working in this land and that way that way we try to now adjust and and uh, make life this land and uh, there is a lot of issues what have to solve before we can use fully this but nice little experiment and lot of interest for people <laughs> already and they have never seen anything market garden no till market garden style uh, systems it's it's quite new thing in, in Philippines and and hope we, hope we can learn the people how to do it and and we have a success also our own we are little area but we don't know because no till farming in in cold climate is very different than here in tropical uh, tropical and uh, so we don't know we don't know yet how how it goes but hopefully hopefully we get good success and well after all it's how much you put first effort uh, what i love in no-till farming is that when you have done this preparing carefully and do it all how should to do then it's kind of easy then then you just maintenance and always when you harvest the crops it's very fast you can basically put same day new seedlings and also also even we have done this but uh, continuous kind of uh, understanding and uh, a kind of rot of crop rotation not not so much different pets of course we rotate the pets also but uh, wife is there also Ma, say I hi. listen to you saying okay you <laughs> learned also uh, uh, you are so small uh, <laughs> you, are so you have to eat more uh -oh. <laughs> lumpia is getting yeah. more higher <laughs> lumpia. Yeah. yeah but anyway there is a lot of work before this is working but hope we can make a nice example garden and when we learn here then we can transfer in bigger, bigger scale and um, and uh, uh, the big challenge is also to make the tools while we waiting these crops to grow and weeding weeding is just the wire weeder we have to make and uh, I don't remember what is the name that uh, what you can till the surface of the bed with the uh, battery drilling machine I don't remember that name but I have to make because here is of course it's not available so all the tools you have to make but basically maybe I make a grinder also but I can make a good lines because we, we surely need that in, in big farm so it's benefiting us if we have already here and we can practice and wife wife need to also learn 
how this is going because so different before uh, what we're doing kind of Nordic and it's a uh, it's a fast uh, fast and short season but here, here you work is kind of continuous and, and long-term efforts you put put these things so pretty much different but we are very excited as all the people here seems to be and we will see but we start to put in this bed now ready and we saw the results